This is who we are and what we do. FGM is the cutting or removal of the female genitalia. It causes mental, physical and long-term medical harm. In 2022, the UN reported that over 4 million girls are at risk of being cut. We are the frontline feminists tackling violence inside our own communities. All the research shows that local women's organisations work faster and with less funding. Yet less than 2% of donor funding goes directly to us. As local people who have actually gone through the practice, who know what it means as victims, I think we have the sole power and authority to make the difference. Over the past 10 years, we've built a trusted network of over a thousand feminist grassroots organizations and activists. Our strategy is simple and unique. First, in a five-day boot camp, we teach activists all they need to know about tackling FGM and gender-based violence in their communities, from how to use mainstream and social media, to the medical realities of FGM, to how to turn religious leaders into allies. We run our own low-cost campaigns in our own languages, and armed with medical facts, we bring the most influential political and religious leaders onto local radio and TV. The circumcision of women is not allowed in Islam. The Bible no mention about FGM. We work across 10 countries and are developing this live digital map linking frontline feminist organizations who for generations have been ignored and underfunded. Now we can finally work together as leaders on the front line. Funding is direct and transparent. Everything is done via WhatsApp, from submitting proposals to receiving the money and providing receipts. Activists are accountable not just to the funders, but to each other as well. And funding the frontline is working. In our latest impact survey in Kenya, for example, 84% of people surveyed said they were changing their minds about the worst type of FGM. We are shifting the power from international NGOs to the frontline. All we need is funding. We have strategies. We know what to do. So shift the power, shift the decision making, and bring in the local organization if you really want to achieve the change that the world wants to see.